All right, guys, um, as what we discussed in the previous video, we really want to create an S3 bucket, which is right here, to make sure that we can get started in collecting data from the footballdata.co.uk website and you know, build a repository of files within this bucket. So let's just get started and make sure that we can create this bucket with our CDK. So let me flip to the Visual Studio code. All right, so as you can see right here, uh, I have some code already written. Um, this can be found in my GitHub um, URL, which I'm gonna put in within my description, or you can go to my website uh, because I teach uh, how you can usually deploy your CDK right here. Without further ado, so how then do I create this bucket? Now, as you can see here, um, binary, as I've spoken in previous videos, is when they execute the code to deploy the temp, uh, the, the infrastructure, right? For library, right, this is the settings and the configurations that you want AWS CDK to configure so that they will execute what you want. And for this, um, we will modularize the um, S3 infrastructure outside of the rest of the um, uh, code base. Uh, and this is important for make uh, reusability and object-oriented programming, right? So uh, for here, I put a s 3 bucket stackts here, TypeScript here. And from here, um, I declare my class and export that for my binary uh, uh, file to execute. All right, so here um, you just create your uh, constructor and of course your, your S3 bucket stack, right? You create this and define this um, stack right here. This is the name of the CDK stack to identify this infrastructure. This is the bucket name itself. Now I made them two the same because um, why not? Uh, but of course you can change them like the CDK can recognize this from as a, another unique identifier outside of your bucket name but just for simplicity sake I uh, prefer everything to be of the same name right um, CDK has this problem sometimes it caches the file when you retrieve it because it caches using version it helps you because within your code as when you extract those data from your S3 bucket right um, you can ensure that the files that you receive is the most updated file rather than a an old no an, an old code but for this example i'm going to put it as false because it doesn't really matter public reaccess is false you only want it true if you decide to build a static website within the s3 bucket all right block public access again i trip uh, typically you block all unless you have other really uh, unique circumstances so i'm gonna block all a removal policy cdk.removalpolicy.destroy now this is important especially if you are deploying cdk what does this mean when you deploy cdk you have the power to tear down or build up an infrastructure via code or execution right but the problem with s3 buckets is you might have files within that you want to retain right so you can set this as retain meaning what happens if you try to remove this bucket via code execution it will disassociate the cdk template from the s3 bucket itself but in your s3 bucket ecosystem you will find that the file is still there this is to ensure that if you accidentally remove any files you no know, by mistake you can definitely um, recover the the files because it will never delete the entire bucket with the files itself and you'll retain the bucket so this why it's retained but for our use case i'm gonna just show it that you i'm gonna just put it as destroyed because i don't really care about this at this point all right the the rest of the settings please go to the website that i have um, indicated in terms of the aws cdk documentation go for it and look look for it to your context and make sure that you follow the the settings right now let's go into the binary folder right uh in this binary folder i commented out this stack because this is the default template that aws cdk has given us uh i didn't want to use it so i comment that out but of course you can always you know override it and and do whatsoever magic you want 
under this S3 bucket dash tag, right? I'm referencing this TypeScript file and I'm exporting the S3 bucket stack, which is found previously right here, right? This is the S3 bucket stack. I'm, I'm retrieving and making an instance out of it, which or an object out of it, which is the S3 bucket stack, right? And you can assign this bucket as an object. Now, this is very powerful because if you put this as an object, you can reuse this for lambdas. You can reuse this uh, and connect with SNS, SQS, different types of infrastructure within your AWS ecosystem. I can make sure that things work well for reusability sake. So reusing assets is key and powerful in CDK and one of the highlights within uh, the AWS CDK ecosystem. Secondly, you realize that I have not declared any IAM permissions. This is the other beauty about CDK. It takes care of your IAM permissions automatically without your you know, forceful implementation if you are you know, just wanting to build a quick prototype. Of course, best practices is you try to define your IAM roles that are unique to your stack and you de definitely want to create those uh, IAM profiles uh, within CDK itself. But sometimes you don't really need that. You can, um, CDK abstracts this layer from you. You just deploy, you'll create the IAM roles that you need just to make sure that everything works well, right? So let us just try to deploy it at this point. I'm going to just pull this out and let me do this here. I do a npm run build and CDK synthesize, right? So you can do that and it will start to build. All right, so you can see here, they created a, um, a cloud formation no, um, no, template here. And right now, if I do CDK deploy, okay, so it's deploying right now. Okay, so completed. So what happens right now? Within the S3 console, initially, you cannot find the S3 bucket uh, here. Let me refresh. Voila, you have the yefira-data-collection-dev. Right here, you have your answer. Now, can you destroy this S3 bucket with code? Yes, you can, definitely. So because I have the destroy policy. Now I am going to delete the stack. Okay. So if I go back to my S3 bucket and I refresh, it disappears because I have the S3 bucket removal policy. All right. So this is a very simple way to create an S3 bucket for your own use. Nothing fancy how to get started with um, CDK, try to deploy always a very simple infrastructure and you should be good to go. All right, my name is Jonathan and I will see you guys for the next video.